What is happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Here today with Matthew, new fish and friend, and of course, what up, Randizzle. We are here, gonna hit a new spot today. Pretty stoked. Looks like it's pretty scummy, so uh, we should be able to get some frogging in. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, it looks froggy. What the heck was up with that? All right, Randizzle on the board with the fish. First one of the day. Well done, sir. Baby fish. Little baby fish. We like all fish that we catch. Nice. Another fish on the jig. Flipping the dock. Randizzle on the board again. 2-0 out to the early lead. Well done, sir. Well done. Super clear. Very clear. Yeah, very, very clear water. Oh. Randizzle apparently thinks we're fishing MLF rules. He's going for all the one-pounders. Wow, this... Uh, this cotton stuff is horrible. Those were more rods stolen from our uh, truck up there. We've actually had all of our gear stolen. Wow, look at this. Okay, so this is the only bad thing about frog fishing. So that's all cotton. And it uh, it doesn't even want to come through my guides now. So this, uh, this is going to be some fun, fun fishing here in the, in the muck. Sight fishing? Gosh, this is horrible. Okay, quick update. Not gonna lie, really, really wanted to catch them on the frog here. This is perfect. Anytime you start out frogging, good layer of scum like this, it's got grass. However, there was cotton stuff, I don't know what it is, that was catching all over and making it impossible to fish. So, I'm not gonna fight it. As much as I wanna catch frogfish, it's not gonna happen. So I'm switching up to a weedless swim bait. We're going to run that along the side of the grass here and see if we can get anything going. Nice. Ran Dizzle with another jig fish. How many is that today, Randy? Five. five? Randy's already up to five. I'm still flying the skunk flag trying to fish this, uh, this grass edge. Any active fish? Nothing. I'll tell you what, they're not, not active though on this jig. I've seen that one. I watched him come out of this tall grass. And All right. Finesse. All right, we found the fish, y'all. If you can't tell, they are huge. Had to break out the old stick bait. Bite has been extremely slow. I haven't even been filming. It's been so slow. He was tucked up in the grass. So far, it's just been little guys over here. None of us have got on anything big yet. Moving bait bite has been pretty much non-existent. Jigs. Stick baits. Matt did catch one on a lipless. All right. New spot. That sucks, man. I've seriously never broke one of those knots, ever. Still there? So far, nothing. Randy had one bite, lost it. Says it was the knot, but between you, me, and the camera, I don't know. It was the old double shindo. I've never broke one off. That's G-Man's confidence jig bait. I don't know. I think there's I think there's more to this story than he's letting on. He's blaming he's blaming the old Debo double shindo. Now there's one over here too, Snake. Huh? No little snakes swimming the There's a bunch of snakes. Another snake. Maybe I should try catching snakes today. I have more luck. All right, made the switch to the swim jig. Very, 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 very slow bite day here. Hopefully we can get something cooking over here. We got a bunch of grass. Hopefully we can get bit. We want to catch some fish, darn it. There's one right on the edge of the grass. On the swim jig. He's not big, but he is a fish for us. Numero uno.
All right, there we go. Number one in the new spot. Let me tell you, he is a toad. Huge. And more snakes. There's apparently tons of water snakes out today. Should I try catching a water snake? Let's see if I can grab this guy. Oh, off he went. Dang, there's another snake. Holy smokes, they're all around. Tons of water snakes out today. If you do not like snakes, this would definitely be the place for you to fish today. <laughs> Randy doing work over there, catching the, uh, the bluegill via the side hook. Very effective. That was grass. Dang, there's another snake. Holy smokes. Snake city over here. Caught a little one. Number two, two for the day, just a little fella. Number two, he's going back in. Oh, oh my goodness, sorry little guy. That's not how you release a fish. Oh my goodness. Debo, release a fish nicely. There he goes. Nice and unharmed. Friends, midday update. It's hot, uh, 93 in the truck, supposed to feel like 99. Randizzle, it's hot. Matt, it's hot. it's hot. It's hot. We're very hot. The only thing we've been able to get any fish on today is finesse. So I've been throwing the wacky rig. Uh, Matt's had a few on the lipless and the stick bait. Ran dizzle on the jig. So we're going to keep at it. We've uh, got a couple little ponds. Not sure how much bank excess, but uh, we'll see. Oh gosh, look at all the snakes under the thing. <laughs> we were just talking about that on the way over. Oh god. Dude, there was a ton of snakes there. I've not seen a spot like that with so many snakes. It's pretty crazy. Here you, go. you ever catch one of these? Oh. Catch one of what? Grass bass. Oh, another snake. Child behind you. Snakes in the lake. Good one. On the whopper plopper? No, let's listen. Oh. Matt on the board at the new spot. Cut a good looking little bass. Well done, sir, on the lipless. I've had a couple small blow ups on the frog and something just bit me in my boot. I don't know what that's all the boot. There's one right on that log. One fish hiding on the log. Big by no means, but it is a fish. He's a toad. All right, one in the new spot. Not on a frog. It was on the old swim jig. Little paddle tail on the back of it, blue go color. He's small. Back he goes. There's a good one. 
All right, good fish on the swim jig. Decent sized one, stay out of those trees. Got him. All right. Decent one on the swim jig. Here we go. Take that, big fish. All right. Best one of the day, look at that. All priests are all post-spawn, tails all beat up, bodies all beat up. Really skinny. Get them back. Oh, look. Deep it. Whoa! Darn it gonna try to lift him. Debo the fish whisperer didn't pay off that time. All right. Well, man, thanks for coming out. Matt is out. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, brother. Take care. We'll do it again sometime. Definitely. Maybe when it's not 8,000 degrees. All right, dude. Thanks for coming out. Take care. You guys have a safe trip tonight? Yes, we shall. Thank you. Whenever you're ready to go, Randizzle. About ready to call it? So much for Canadian goose hunting. Don't leave me.